I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 What's up, guys? It's Raf here with Crew on the Crewcast. We've had some requests for a very specific topic uh, to talk about here. Hot topic, street racing and the culture behind it. I got two of my friends here. We got Tristan and Simran. Thanks, guys, for joining us for... Very interesting talk. I think this is going to be. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, so, like automotive culture, we know um, this is kind of part of the scene. Everyone that drives some sort of sports car or done something to their car always wants to see, you know, how fast it is, what it can do. Um, only in Mexico, of course. Of course. Uh, <laughs> but what's your guys' experience, Sim? What's your experience with um, obviously being in this industry, seeing you know the younger generation come up? Um, Great experience. Uh, it's kind of nice seeing a lot of new faces coming out every weekend. Yeah. Uh, different cars, uh, rolls, digs, see what each car puts out. Yeah. Yeah. Be surprised what kind of car beats what kind of car. Definitely. You think like, okay, this, this thing's got a V8 supercharged. You got know, a little five banger here. Yeah. The five banger gaps the V8. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's always, it's always a fun time. Like we got obviously the, you know, the legal side, we got Mission Raceway down here. Yeah. Uh, the Friday night street legal is always packed, always busy. Um, I think in the, in the grand scheme of it, there's not um, – the street legals is one day a week. Mm -hmm. And that's – if that day can't be met by a lot of the community, and obviously if the whole community went out, you're not getting the race in. No. Uh, you're not get, able to get on the court mile. It doesn't happen. Um, that's why, we, you know, a lot of people take it to take it to the streets. It's part of the culture. It's part of the community. You, do, you know, most people do it in a – a safe, quiet, uh, well, not quiet when they get there, <laughs> but you know, say like an area where there's, there's just nobody else there. Mm -hmm. Um, what's your opinion on it? like, this is part of the culture. Yeah. It's, um, from being when I was young and just loving cars, it's always, you get these crazy builds, but mm -hmm. when you get, you go to a show, yeah, you're only seeing what they look like and what they look like under the hood and you're not experience the action of the car and kind of like what's put behind it. So mm -hmm. I think that's a big thing about it. And where a car's meant to go on the road, right? It's just, it's an amazing community behind it. And there's it's, so many friends behind it too. There, it's a, it's like a massive family. Like if, exactly. if no one's ever been out to, you know, the, the street stuff or the, um, or the actual drag races side, um, like I, I do spend most of my time at the, at mission at the Friday nights at the raceway. Um, obviously my car is, far too many colors in it to do too much on the street. I'm not, <laughs> I, yeah. you know, I'm not hiding from anything there. Um, I love it there. And I, you know, I take the kids out. Um, we take the family, you know, I take the dogs and we're always making conversation with, you know, the seniors that are there with their insane old school builds that I know absolutely nothing about. I'm not even going <laughs> to pretend to know the old school yeah. scene um, to the, the, the younger crowd who, you know, will love seeing my car and I'll go check their car out. And suddenly we're all friends in there part of like the group that we meet up with next week yeah um, we're doing shows like, and stuff like personally for me it's like the thrill like it's the feeling racing on the street is a whole different feeling yeah. racing in the track because you're technically racing on unprepped surface so you're actually seeing what the car can put out mm. on a normal street and so yeah no like, it's prepped and everything and like real life it's scenario it's just a whole different feeling and when the cops show up and everything it's just like yeah, it's that. It's, it's, that, it's, it's that uh, rush. it's out of the Fast and the yeah. Furious scene. Yeah, then exactly coning off the roads and stuff. <laughs> Every city has their has their own thing that they do. You know, one thing, one thing that I that I don't like supporting um, with um, the street side of things is you see all the videos, mostly in the states. I know yeah. it happens in a um, out in Florida and, and LA, uh, maybe some other areas, but it's taken over the intersection. And the few guys will go around doing the donuts and yeah. people just run in and out. Safety's a big um, <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's the dad coming out of me. What do you think? <laughs> um, no, I think people find a, this, uh, a big uh, miscommunication about what like street racing is compared mm. to what they call takeovers. Yeah, yeah that's which, a takeover. Yeah. Yeah. Which is just shutting down an intersection and just causing mayhem. Mm. But... Which is extremely dangerous. We've seen um, we've seen the past, injuries, yeah, in, yeah, H two O, and a couple deaths out there, which is very sad. But it's mm -hmm. a big difference between street racing and takeovers because if you would, if you attend one of the street racing events, it's very organized. Everyone's looking out for everyone. Mm. If you're noticing something wrong with the car, there's always someone there to help you out. Yeah, make sure it's good. But when you go to a takeover, it's just 
It's Damn. just, yeah, it's, uh, I've only, um, I haven't, I haven't obviously been to any of the takeovers. I've had friends that have been out in the States, um, and they went once and they didn't go again. Yeah. Um, Cause honestly, what I feel like at the takeover that happens is like people are drinking and you see a car doing donuts and everybody's chasing after it. The whole safety hazard. Yeah. Yeah. And then one guy, it, all it takes is one guy to get hit. Yeah. I've seen the one where, um, I think it was a charger or something, but he hit someone and he didn't stop and he tried to like take off yeah. and everyone's just like charging at the car. And but I was, I don't know, a few more people got hit and I was like, oh, I can't watch this video, man. Yeah, like no, this it's is terrible. It's, it's sad. Yeah. I'm just glad to see there was no crew decal on any of those cars. <laughs> 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 crew fam is not involved in that one. Uh, no. You know, it's, it's the same, you know, with us, like we're, we're only going to be involved in a, you know, the, the, the the legal side the the culture side the the part that's you know keeping people safe that's improving yeah. the that's improving the community improving the you know growing the the family mm-hmm. situation yeah um, you know I've had friends that they've broken down um, at large street based events and guess what you have you know one two hundred people sometimes there mechanics tools in their <laughs> truck yeah. you tools. know yeah. yeah there's always a guy with the same yeah. tools in his truck yeah there's yeah. A, you know it's late at night someone's like hey we we know a tow truck is going to be here shortly. Sometimes Don't worry all you about need it. Is a zip tie. <laughs> yep. You put some robotessen on it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like with with the, with the street stuff. Um, let's talk about it. Like you know, a lot of us have have uh, have been out to observe, to watch. Uh, there's been some crazy cars turn up. It is is an experience in itself. Um, what's the fastest cars you guys have seen actually turn up? Fast cars I've seen turn up, and I can't say yours. <laughs> 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 um. Honestly, the fastest car is probably the R8. The oh, R8. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, Tell us about that car. Lots of people might not know about that yeah, one. Yeah, so it's a supercharged R8, stage three, pushing just above 1,000. And it's an unbelievable street car because of the Haldex Audi all-wheel drive system. Mm. And we've had a couple nights where you go hang out with a couple buddies, mm. put some money down, you go have fun, and that car just Surprise. surprises you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like even it being a supercar, yeah, it's, um, there's a lot of misconceptions about it. Yeah, you don't, you never know what's under that hood. You never know. It doesn't matter if it's a supercar or it's a EK hatch, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's GLC sixty three. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. SUV. yeah, that's yeah. the that's the that's the, that's the minivan. Yeah. Yeah. Bat, Batmobile, yeah. right? Bat, Batmobile, <laughs> Batmobile. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That one's a ridiculous build. It's that's I I always find it really cool when you see. Um, the the strangest car turned into hypercar level. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I believe last week there was a CRV with a sequential gearbox in it and single turbo. Yeah. Okay, I, I haven't even heard of that thing. That thing surprised a lot of people. Was it on like the regular rims too, and you couldn't tell? Yeah, it, it looked really stock. Okay, I guess we got a new media car for crew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to I need to get a hold of that one. Mm-hmm. So with 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 the street stuff with the, with the community, you know, um, it's not going away. Um, the you know the so-called street stuff how do you how do you make it as safe as possible how do you how do you even improve the current level like how do you how do you just make it appeal to more people that uh, more people want to come and watch so it's like more of a show and usually it's, we get people not to park on the great like flip the spot we're racing on yeah we try to stay behind the starting line right another thing is we usually try to stop the burnouts and donuts on the raceway because if someone's lining up and you see someone coming in sideways well two people are ready but take off mm. so we usually try to stop that yeah yeah but it's like there's only so much you can do right there's always that one kid that has to prove it something is it always the mustang or <laughs> 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 I, had, I had to throw it out there yeah <laughs> what do you think how do you how do you make it how do you make it appeal to more to more people um i think the greatest thing about especially from down here and um the local stuff to us is it's a really big family like yeah. i've known even when there's a, a large race that's known for a couple of weeks coming up, you'll have the night before, you'll have 20 guys with each car going mm-hmm. out, spending the time, checking over everything. Yeah. And it's just, it's the adrenaline. Yeah. When you're rolling in there with, you You got your crew, the other car has their crew. Notice the keyword crew, guys. <laughs> yeah. um, and then you line up to race. It's just, yeah. it's a feeling like no other. I can see that. Like I've done, um, you know, we go on like, roll races on the highway mm-hmm. um open areas there's no cars around there's no farms there's no houses there's no nothing yeah. um i'll do i'll do our testing like my car's testing there 
Uh, we'll meet some friends there and we'll, we'll go. It, it's an adrenaline rush that you can't experience mm-hmm. anywhere else. Um, it's where it's like, you know, Germany has the Autobahn. The Autobahn. Yeah. <laughs> how, do, how do we create that level here? Yeah. Um, again, you know, I talk to people where it's, where it's like when we, you know, when we're doing more road ride trips with crew, it's like, okay, we got to ship the car to, to London, England next mm-hmm. year for a massive event. And I'm like, okay, I got to take a detour and we have to go to yeah. Germany yeah. just to do the video on the Autobahn. It's a must. Right. It's like, it's like a tourist destination for us. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. It's, uh, with, um, I think like the only reason, um, I think a lot of people, a lot of people that I've spoken to as well about this topic, they yeah. don't go out to any of the street stuff or the roll races or when people are, when there's going to be a large late night drive, mm-hmm. uh, with 40, 50 cars, they don't want to go. Um, cause they automatically assume it's, it's dangerous. It's yeah. illegal. Should always come out once and experience it. That's what I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Probably definitely change your mind. Yeah. I think, I think a lot of it, you know, changes your perception of, oh, I had, I kind of had this group backwards. Yeah. yeah. You know, we kind of thought everyone's just going to, everyone's doing donuts and burnouts on the highway, swerving in and out, crashing into ditches. No, it's not no, like that. No, no, no. <laughs> no. What we do, when we do our, you know, super our rallies organized. and our drives, yeah. it's, super yeah, organized. it's a massive level of organization yeah. for safety in my, in my mind. It's yeah, like, listen, safety, I understand. Safety, yeah. If people are going to want to go out and experience their cars and do something, um, you know, I can't stop them. No. But in my mind, I'm like, how can I make it safer? Yeah. Yeah. How can I make it organized where they can go safety, and do it and it's as safe as possible? Yeah. yeah. I think a really big thing is respect. Yeah. respect when you go out yeah. there, everyone has a respect for your car and what you've done to it. Yeah. Um, there's no one coming out there. And as soon as you pull up, there's people tearing you apart for what's done to it. Yeah. That's not quite Fast and the Furious like the movie. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but um, no, it's just from like being young and then um, meeting people in the older generations who mm. in like a whole generation, different generation of cars. And I've had come out in their old Malibu's done out and it's just, yeah. they love it. Did you guys, did you guys go out to the, the Langley one where they, they shut down the street? Yeah. On yeah. Industrial yeah, I was yeah. There. Yeah. How, I was there. yeah. How was that? It's a yearly thing. It's just the one time thing where these old timers come out and show off their cars. Usually you see them sit at a show and shine Yeah, and you just look at it. But these guys actually, that it's a one night before the cruise in where they actually come sh- do stuff with their car yeah. and put out. Yeah. How was it? You were there as well? Yeah. I was yeah. There. How, how was it organized? Um, It's been, it's less of like, um, like a main organizer to it. Yeah. It's more of just everyone has that same respect for everyone. Everyone's standing out of the way. Yeah. They know the car's doing a burnout. It's can get squirrely. It can get sideways, mm. but I saw people, the video is holding some of the cars. Yeah, straight. Exactly. <laughs> just, it's no one's pushing their limits. Yeah. I think that's a really big thing is people will come out and try to show off or mm. show off to their friends or who's in their car. And that's when things go bad. Yeah. It's yeah. just going out and learning your car, learning your respect mm. and being able to do that once a year, which always the cops usually let us get away with it. Yeah. Um, well, that's what it was like. Yeah. There, there were, I heard there were police there and they're just yeah. watching as, it go as on and join the show. Your limit and you stay within it. Yeah. Well, I like I like that one. I like that <laughs> yeah, one. It's a good that's going to be next on the hoodie. If you haven't seen the hoodie already, it's going to be know your know your limits. Stay with it. <laughs> with that picture, though, yeah, it's yeah. Photoshop. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah. Um, that's one thing um, I like to talk about with the cops. Yeah, I've met a lot of cops through through the years of doing it, and honestly, it's never been. I've never had a terrible, terrible experience. Yeah, like. You gotta, if you're going out and you're participating in those events, you gotta understand mm. what you're doing is not the most legal. Yeah. But the cops there will still um, not go out of their way to like terrorize one person. Yeah. It usually, if a if a cop's rolling in to where everyone's hanging out or racing, it's usually them just putting on their lights, telling you to go home. Yeah. And that's what I really like about it. Mm. And it's uh, it's been a little more heat around the the scene lately but yeah. it's um you've seen the earlier episodes we've been talking about it. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but it's um usually when there's nothing that bad's happening from it um like deaths or crashes it's it's not a terrible thing to go to it's i yeah. think someone should definitely always experience it at least once and see if they like it it's like with um like with that langley event is for the you know the fully legal side like that was put on by the you know the city police are involved in it it's mm. done in a yeah safe manner lots of i mean there were so many people in the videos like i regret not going out myself uh but it looked like a fantastic time with that 
with Friday Night Mission, um, and then there's you know there's always different shows and uh, and car shows and meets to to go to. But my thing is, you go to a car show or a meet standing around in a parking lot after ten minutes, it's, it's kind of boring. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you know, hundred percent. Especially you know, in the summertime when it's so it's, hot. It's hot. Yeah, it's like. Well, what are we doing here? Yeah. You know, we're going for a drive. That's why crew was, you know, crew, crew was coming to the table to organize meat spot and actually go on a little rally to the next spot. Yeah. yeah. Park up, grab some food, go on another drive. You know, you get to check out new places, you experience. Yeah. And you get to drive, yeah. you get a bunch of cool media shots. Yeah. You meet some new friends, you know. New city, everyone. new food, new people. Yeah. And that's, that's, some, that's improving the culture. Yeah. Um, with what we see, you know, we're living it. You know, the culture is really improving. Yeah. Um, my mind is like, what do we do to create more like Friday, like mission? It's only ever going to be Friday nights open mm-hmm. for street legals. Um, Langley's doing that one event every single year. If we could get more um, of the cities and towns on board, like if Chilliwack did one, you know, if Surrey did one mm-hmm. and it was like scattered around the summer. Yeah. Um, you know, we'd improve the, obviously you could also bridge the gap between police and enthusiasts as well. A lot of conversation going on. You know, Hermes is welcome to come to one of those events and, <laughs> and talk to some of the people. Good and understanding. As long as like no one's getting hurt, it's usually that one or one or two cops that yeah. have a grudge, they're holding a grudge. But usually, like when we have cops scroll through the races, he knows what's happening. Yeah, he knows he can't stop it. He'll just tell us to leave the area, which mm-hmm. is totally understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he can't not look like he, he knows what's going on. He can't turn a blind eye against it. Mm-hmm. So he's got to show his presence. Be like, if you guys go home. Call it even. So what happens at the at the races if it starts raining? Oh, we usually don't post. Yeah, don't know yeah. That. Nothing will. Um, just with the rain factor, same yeah. as the mission too. Yeah, it's just such a dangerous aspect. Yeah, and even if your car's all wheel drive or rear wheel drive, mm. it's just you still have that small chance. Yeah, and it's just it's not worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, I think one thing crew would love to do build our own quarter mile track. <laughs> maybe maybe get a half mile going yeah. like the like the Texas event. <laughs> get the runway going. Yeah. that would be cool. Ideas in my mind. How do we create more events throughout the year? How do we get more of this scene going? Even if it's you know if we have to bring it to a a fully you know verified legal scene, all the waivers and everything done. Um, how do we get it to that that size? Um. I think it's definitely just going through the steps. Yeah. Partner with an airport. Yeah. Uh, I think that's, um, that's definitely the most common places people yeah. find it or, um, even renting a road too. Yeah. Um, out on the, uh, first nations reserves, they often rent their road out to, yeah, that's uh, true. um, bigger, bigger drag cars that come yeah. out there and you can rent your car. That's, um, they set up the proper precautions and yeah. you uh, inform who you need to inform and get yeah. the approvals. And I think you set up like fire extinguishers, radios, yeah, exactly. safety people on either side. Yeah. Have things set up, do and get some events going. But I think a little um, giving us a little leeway on it, I mm. think, is a huge step forward. Yeah, because that's everyone wants to go out and have fun, right? But yeah. if you can, like a couple times, like once a month, maybe. Yeah. Um, on a set spot, on a set area, the proper precautions in place. I think people would still that would if they want to cut that part down of the illegal street racing. That's the next step that they need to take. Yeah. Because the more they fight against it the more they push back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when's the next event? No. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my car is still broken. <laughs> We're not going out with that. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's always an interesting talk. I uh, appreciate you guys coming just to, you know, get an open talk about the, the community, the culture, what's going on in the streets, what's going on at the, you know, the legal drag strips and where the, where the gap is. Um, mm-hmm. I believe it's, um, it's getting to that point of, we need to try and figure out the and the heavy traffic areas like you know BC, Ontario, um, LA, Seattle, yeah. all, all the the bigger regions that have a lot of enthusiasts, a lot of modified cars, stock cars, which people yeah. just love love uh, pushing their cars to a limit. Mm-hmm. How do we make a safe environment for them to go and do that to experience the adrenaline rush that you know we get to do and 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 how we do it? Because um, I guarantee you, there are a whole boatload of people that don't get to and don't even know how or don't even know the opportunity could exist Mm -hmm. whatever racetrack they want to go to or the drag strip or safer events on the streets that are you know right now maybe maybe not fully legal but how do we turn it to legal i think the idea on some uh some reserves maybe they got some nice roads i think that's actually a could be a really good opportunity um, so, I know people race through like prime trial attacks at like Boundary yeah. Bay Airport, Meadows Airport. I've seen the airport. Yeah, yeah they'll set up the cones and they'll yeah. do the time attacks there. I yeah. do that a couple years back. 
Yeah, send out more of those events. I know the Pit Meadows there, but um, is popular for yeah. that one. Um, lots of people go out there, VCC and stuff. But yeah, maybe we can uh, maybe we can set up some more events for spring and try and you know double the you know community coming out in mm-hmm. uh, in one year. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you yeah, so much for coming on. Awesome. Well, guys, uh, we got another episode there, street racing, hot topic of debate. Uh, if you have any comments, any questions you would ask, drop them below. We'll have Simmer and Tristan answer any questions you'd like them to. Um, again, any ideas on future episodes you guys want us to talk about, bring on special guests, just let us know. You know, we're open. Shoot us an email, find us on Instagram, or drop a comment below. We appreciate all the support. Thank you, guys. We'll talk to you soon.